Once upon a time, when kings were wise and knights were bold, there lived a girl named Rosaline whose tale was never told. She tended her own land and kept her garden emerald green and grew the largest radishes the town had ever seen. One day she filled a basket up to bring her sweetheart lunch and took a path she'd never traveled, trusting on a hunch. She walked until she came upon a tiny candy cottage made of treats and sugar canes, the kind that caused tooth rottage. A haggled witch came hobbling out and pulled from in her robe a candy apple fresh and plump, a shiny tasty globe. Take a bite, my pretty girl, she said behind a smile. Just one bite will help you rest your weary head a while. Now witches were a crafty sort, as everybody knew, but had weak eyes, so Rosaline decided what to do. I'll need a drink to wash it down, she told the frazzled witch. Then with a radish from her basket, quickly made a switch. The witch returned with drink in hand. Now eat the apple up. Rosaline took several bites, then finished off the cup. The witch was smiling ear to ear but then began to frown. Goodbye now, said young Rosaline. I'm headed into town. My poison apples always work, the witch said. This can't be. Rosaline called back to her. You hadn't yet met me. She walked until a wolf jumped out and stopped her in her tracks. He eyed her up and licked his lips while staring at her snacks. Hand your basket over, said the wolf to Rosaline. I will not. Your manners are the worst I've ever seen. If you don't, I'll huff and puff and you'll be sorry, dear. Instead, she pulled the apple out, never showing fear. Have it your way, said the wolf, and then began to huff. She threw the apple in his mouth before he got to puff. He swallowed with a heavy gulp feeling very sleepy. No one's ever done that, said the wolf, while getting weepy. That no one has, said Rosaline, means almost not to me. What's been done by others won't decide who I will be. She, she let, let the wolf drift, drift off to sleep in the middle of the day, day and, and walked, walked until, until a fairy, fairy in a bubble, bubble blocked, blocked her, her way. way. I'm your fairy godmother. Your wishes have come true. We'll dress you up and find a prince. There's oh so much to do. She waved her magic wand and turned a bug into a buggy. She flew around with magic dust. Her bubble got more bubbly. That's enough, yelled Rosaline, and all the magic stopped. Her godmother came floating down. Her bubble all but popped. But why, asked fairy godmother. I'm here to help you out. All that you have wanted, all you've ever dreamed about. That's kind of you to offer, but you have not seen my dreams. Every person's wish is theirs, not always what it seems. I do not need your magic or a prince to save the day. My sweetheart's waiting for me, and now I'll be on my way. Rosaline walked on and saw a hut upon a clearing. She called out to her love and sighed as she continued nearing. The witch, the wolf, her godmother who thought that she knew best, could not have stopped young Rosaline from finishing her quest. Her sweetheart gave a smile and came quickly rushing out. She was the girl that Rosaline had always dreamed about.